Now, let's go to some objections. What are the objections we get? What are the top three objections you get in your industry? If I was gonna work for you today, and I was gonna work for you, you'd say, Andy, you gotta be good at these three. I'm gonna hit Brett with an objection. You guys ready? Okay, so, so here's my goal. So I'm just, by the way, you guys see all these deals? I'm gonna tell you guys something, they're all the same. They're all the same, everything's the same. It's all handled the same way. Maybe a few different words, but they're all handled the same. Now, let's go to some objections. What are the objections we get? Okay, we got rate, what else we got? We got think, what else we got? Payment, that's easy. We got wife, what else we got? CPA, what, what else we got? Shop around, can't afford it, can't afford it. Okay, so can't afford, okay, inventory. Okay, now listen to me, I'm gonna move around the room, is that cool? I was sitting here and I was talking to a guy and he came up here, right? Where's my guy? He said he was in, um, oh, right there, my guy, here, come here. Let's start with you real quick. Because I, I like a guy that's got a chip on his shoulder, right? So he ran up here. He was like, he was like, hey, hey. He's like, I know how to handle this. I want to handle this, right? So, so I want to give him an opportunity. Does that make sense? And then I'm going to pivot. Okay, all right, what's your name? Uh, Brett Irvin. Brett, okay. So Brett, you're in, you're in what industry? I am, I'm in the moving industry. You're in the moving industry, okay. And by the way, Brett, what are the top three objections you get in your industry? If I was going to work for you today, and I was going to work for you, you'd say, Andy, you got to be good at these three. Oh yeah, it's always going to be uh, Bryce. It's going to be, I need to talk the example before uh, to my wife. Talk to the wife, okay. Yeah, or okay. it's going to be, uh, I'm getting other quotes. Okay, cool. You ready? Okay, fine. Is it Brett? It is Brett. Okay, here we go. It's Andy, right? Yep. I'm going to hit Brett with an objection. You guys ready? Here we go. So it says, hey, hey, Brett, I really appreciate you giving me all the information, okay? You're the first company that I called out to. So I'm going to get a couple more estimates. I'm going to get back with you. Go. That sounds good. Anyway, we always respect that if you going out and getting those estimates. But right now, today... How do you feel about the things that we have done? We've gone through the pretty good diligence of uh, walking the home, identifying, quite frankly, your wife's hot buttons, your hot buttons, how we're gonna care for your goods, how we're gonna care for your home, and making sure that it's the most protected, and we provide you and deliver you the best move experience possible. So with that being said, um, are you feel good about the quality of service that we just talked about? Okay, all right, everybody do me a favor, okay? Everybody write this down. Ask great questions, get great answers. So I'm gonna tell you what I would do. Number one, I like what he did. Obviously, he's very good at what he does, but I want you to understand something. I would ask a question because when somebody says, I'm gonna get a couple more estimates, I wanna understand, and like what perspective? Like you're trying to save money, or like you wanna make sure that you're getting the most that you can get for your money? Because there's two different ways to look at it, right? Does everybody understand? Okay, so what would I ask? Hey, number one, I totally understand, okay? Let me ask you a question, hypothetically. Am I ever say hypothetically? Hypothetically. It's a very powerful word, so hypothetically. Let's say you already called every company, okay? Some of the prices were a little cheaper, but they didn't cover the benefits and the liability as much on the moving, and then some of them were a little more money, but they made sure that ensured that everything was gonna get here safe. Would it be worth to spend a little more money, or is this, is this gonna be like a money issue? Just, just shoot me straight, because hey, I might even be, be able to refer you to a cheaper company that has lower liability, okay? Now what am I doing? Hey guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you wanna level up in life and business, then one thing you gotta do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor Hostage Tape is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, You've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With hostage tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila, several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go visit hostagetape.com backslash Elliot and get yours today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. I'm framing him to decide, hey, listen to me, is, it, is the juice worth the squeeze to buckle down and spend more money if I can find the right place? Or am I actually looking for something cheaper? Because listen, if you get off the phone and somebody is cheaper, you know they're gonna go with them, but the only reason why they went with them is because they were cheaper. So what, what is our goal as a closer? To create certainty and create uncertainty. What I wanna create is that when you get off the phone with me, there is always gonna be a company that's cheaper. Now what I'll tell you is some nightmare stories. When, I don't know, when, when's the last time you moved, Bob? 
When's the last time you moved? He's like, last time I moved was you know, seven years ago. I can say, man, I can tell you this. Moving companies, 99% of them, they have low liability. They have people that aren't, they're not uh, federally background checked that are actually moving your stuff that go into your home and they transfer. We do things a little bit different. It's the age of transparency. We do what our customers have asked us to do. They want to make sure when somebody's going into their home, when they're moving the things that are, you know, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars in value, we want to make sure that we get them from point A to point B, super easy, nothing broken. We actually put them back into the new home perfectly or into the storage place where you guys don't have to worry about anything in peace of mind. Okay? There's not a lot of companies that you can count on that with. Now listen, these cheaper companies, they use cheaper people that do cheaper, cheaper labor costs, they use cheaper trucks, and their liability's not as high. To me, that's a little bit scary. When we're talking about $2,000, $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 for moving expenses, and we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in furniture, if something breaks and the liability don't cover, basically the whole, the whole move was a waste. What would it be worth if I could guarantee and ensure that you guys could get your property from A to B, we would be there on time, it would be done the exact way you want to do it. Matter of fact, we would ruin the value of money for you. All the things that you care about that you want to get taken care of, not only will we supersede that, but also we do it at a very fair price. Look, there's a lot of fly-by-night moving companies and they come up and they go down. They come up and they go down. Our company's been in business for 17 years. We care. Our number one goal is we don't want your business. We just want to out care the competition and we want to move your furniture like we'd want our, our furniture moved. Okay, now if I can ensure and I can provide all of this, would you still need to continue and shop knowing that a person's gonna ask, what price am I going to beat? And they're going to try to beat it by a couple hundred bucks and you're gonna use them and they can't provide the same commitment to you. In a world where there's a shortage of commitment, I'm gonna reach out and over the phone, I'm gonna give you an ironclad handshake and I'm gonna tell you that I'm going to do exactly what you wanna do and I would go back into the same clothes again. This person doesn't exist in the world anymore. They don't exist. Nobody cares anymore. Do you guys get it? Slick mouth salesmen are broke. People are sick of slick mouth salesmen. You know what they need? they need? They need this. So I always tell people, I say, hey, listen, do you know why I got in the moving industry? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why. Because I actually had something moved and I was so heartbroken and I was so torn apart and it was the biggest fight that me and my wife had that we decided that thousands of other people had a, across the country had to be going through the same kind of suffering that we went through on that moving trip. So you know what we did? We decided to move, open a moving company because you know what we know? We know businesses succeed when they solve problems that most people can't solve. So we decided in a world full of amateurs and moving companies that open up and shut down three years later, we would open the greatest moving company that ever existed that cared about the client more than they cared about money. And that's why today I'm in the moving company. You think that'd close them? Yeah, it doesn't work. People don't do it anymore. You know why? Because they're lazy, they're amateurs, they don't know how to talk. Guys, are you guys public speakers? Is everybody in this room speak for a living? Damn right you do, every one of you. Whether you talk to 10,000 people or one, you guys all speak for a living. You know what I know? I talk to a lot of you guys, and a lot of you, you actually try to say stuff before I've even finished saying what I'm gonna say. It's like you only wanna hear what you have to say that's in your, in your head. That's the worst thing a salesman can do. I always wanna let a customer finish a sentence because I may go left and I thought I was gonna go right, but I may go left by the time they finish. Listen, we're in an era right now that people want stuff right now. So we gotta move like super quick. Listen to me, slow down, man. You know that old saying, your customers will tell you how to sell them? They will tell you how to sell them. But also, what if I told you that customers need to be told how to think? Your job is to tell the clients how to think. Listen to me, if money's your biggest concern, if it is, if money's your biggest concern, what am I doing? I'm framing you. If money's your biggest concern, the last thing you wanna do is spend less money and go with a company with a low liability, have something move here, and end up spending ten, fifteen thousand dollars on broken furniture that's not covered. If money's your biggest concern, don't you agree the juice is worth the squeeze to spend a little more money and guarantee that the liability's there? So in the event of the move, if something was to break, it is all paid for and it will be replaced and there's nothing to worry about, wouldn't that be worth it? If money's your biggest concern, Spending a little more money now so you can save money on the back end is totally worth it, especially as expensive it is to replace stuff nowadays. I'm framing them, if money's their biggest concern, spending more money now is actually saving them money. Spending more money now is actually the way to go. Am I telling them how to think? Yes, I am. All I want you guys to do is, I want you to understand this, okay? All people wanna do is be talked to how you like to talk to yourself. You know how you like to be talked to? That's how people wanna be talked to. Guys, when you do business with somebody, do you want somebody to believe in themselves? You know what I know? A lot of people don't believe in themselves nowadays. They really don't believe in themselves. 
And you know how I know? Have you ever talked to somebody and they don't even look you in the eyes? Like, just go and talk to anybody today. And most of the time, when people look at you, every time they go to say something, they look away. You know why? Because I can see that they're looking for what to say next. I can see it in their eyes. People have no idea how to have a conversation with anybody anymore. People genuinely don't know how to. Do you guys get how you guys are going to crush everybody? Become the realest son of a bitch that ever lived. That's it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.